or just his uh, firecracker, and I can just arrows that every time. And yeah, I mean, this game is already over, and uh, so. <laughs> Guys, the Sudden Death Tournament just came out, and today I'm going to be showing you my five. I wouldn't say favorite decks, but I'm going to say the five strongest Sudden Death Tournament decks for this challenge. We're going to see how far I can get wins wise. I will be uploading another video when I do have more wins, but today we'll just be focused on five potential decks that you guys could play with. I'm not going to lie to you guys, there's going to be, a, <laughs> you guys are going to have to expect a lot of drill um, and a lot of graveyard. So. I mean, that's just what happens whenever you have a sudden death tournament like this, fast paced, you're trying to get one tower as quickly as you can. But I'll just hop into the first game and I'll see you then. Alrighty, hopping in this first game against Quano Pro. Looks like he's actually playing with log bait and I'm gonna be playing with Graveyard. Graveyard's so strong in this, um, in this, what, what's this called? I guess this type of setting. It's so fast paced and you just do so much damage. This guy's unfortunately playing with Inferno Tower. So I'm just gonna go like this here. Okay. I'm gonna try to cycle to my evil bats before I go in. That is the idea. Okay. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna go in. I'm just gonna go in because I'm a giant graveyard player, right? He just uses Firecracker so I can go like this. I'm gonna go with my giant snowball. Hopefully, we hit a good amount of that Skarmy. Perfect. And I think that's basically game. I mean, look at the bats, bro. Insane. Gonna cycle my evil archers in the back now. Okay, I'm just gonna go with a bowler. I can just go with arrows on top of all of this. Beautiful. I don't know why he's popping his ability like that, but I think this is already a, a GG's. Let me just turn down the volume. Okay, graveyard here. High skilled graveyard player. I'm just gonna snowball for the Skarmy. Okay, he looks like he's gonna go with a really nice poison, but you know, every time he poisons on defense, he's not gonna be able to poison on offense, so I will take it. Okay, I'm just gonna do the same thing that I did last time. And uh, yeah, I mean, this game is, is already over. Like, I just have to keep on doing the same thing and I will win. I'm just gonna go bats in the middle for Inferno Drag Tower. I'm gonna go with my graveyard. I'm gonna have a giant snowball to kill the firecracker, maybe even hit a Skarmy if I'm lucky. Okay, no. I just need some good RNG here. And yeah, GG's. So I mean, this deck is just so free. So free. I mean, you guys are gonna see this literally everywhere, I'm not gonna lie. But uh, yeah, gra graveyard man, giant graveyard, so skilled, right? But anyways, I'm just gonna see you in the next game with the next deck. Hopping in this next game against Jared, I will be using Goblin Drill, guys. I've said this before. Goblin Drill is going to be so popular, especially, especially in this type of um, tournament, just because, you know, it's so fast paced, it's so easy to get damage. Goblin Drill's so broken. I mean, I don't have to say it, but you guys already know this. But, uh,. You guys are going to see so much Goblin Drill, so hopefully you guys are either, either good against Goblin Drill or you just don't care, because uh, expect to see a lot of it. Alright, I'm just going to go with my Ice Spirit High. I'm going to go with another Tesla. Okay, fine. that's fine. If he goes Earthquake, he's going to miss. Okay, perfect. I can just go with a Royal Ghost for the Bats and the Hog. I mean, I'm going to take one hit, but that's fine. Honestly, I'm just going to go with my Log here. Okay, perfect. I can just go with a, uh, no, I'm not gonna poison. Not quite yet. I can just calm down a little bit. I'm gonna go with another Art Royal Ghost in the back, and then the Goblin Drill again. I mean, this is what I mean, it's just so freaking overpowered. Um, I am playing with the non-Tornado version, so, I mean, I don't know, like, either one works, but... Okay, those bats are giving way too much damage. What the heck, bro? And the hog got a hit, of course. And the hog got two hits, of course, bro. Like, what the hell? Alright, those bats, bro, be uh, pissing me off, but that's fine. I'm just going to go with another poison. Yep. Just going to go like this. Okay, the, the Royal Ghost is going to get some hits if he doesn't do anything. 
Hopefully, nice. Just gonna go with a log. Beautiful. I can just go with my evil bomber now, and that should be ga good game. He's not gonna pop his ability in time, so yeah. GG's. Um, kind of played that pretty sloppily, but you guys are gonna have to expect a lot of this, guys. All right. Just gonna hop into the next deck, and I'll see you guys there. All right. This next deck might surprise you, okay? But it's actually Lava Hound. I kind of just wanted to like switch things up for you guys because. I know you guys are going to see a lot of drill, and so maybe you guys aren't going to expect the Lava Hound here um, from me. Um, the reason why I think Lava Hound will be so good is because everyone's going to be playing with uh, like drill and all of those really, really fast cycle decks. So you might just be able to surprise your opponent with Lava Hound. Um, there's not going to be a lot of air defensive troops just because everyone again, is going to be playing with all of those drill decks, all of those um, spammy graveyard decks, and so you will actually have a lot of the times really good matchups with the Lava Hound, because no one will be expecting it, no one will be playing with it, so, I mean, look at this already, I mean, I already have so much pressure on the tower, I'm just going to go again with the Skelly Dragons, and I think I've already won, like, look at, he has nothing for the ground, just his, I mean, nothing for the air, just his uh, firecracker and I can just arrows that every time and yeah I mean this game is already over and uh, so yeah that's what I mean Lava Hound will be a really good surprise if you guys are trying to get a super super easy win in there but yeah super fast game I mean all these games have been so fast so this might be a super short video for you guys but I'm gonna hop into the next deck now this next deck, guys, I'm sorry, again, it's it's Drill, I just, Drill is just gonna be so strong, I don't know what else to say to you guys, you guys just need to get good at um, defending Drill, this guy's playing Logbait, Logbait, I just don't see it being that good, I'm not gonna lie, but hey, maybe this guy pulls it off, I don't know, I'm just gonna go with my Evil Bomber here, and look at the damage I've already gotten, I mean, it's just absolutely absurd, I can just, I could have maybe, um, Tornado that night in. Okay, wow. So he's just gonna go with a really aggressive um, rocket. I mean, I guess he has to do that. But I just keep on going in with the drill, drill plus uh, <laughs> bomber, and I'm gonna get so much damage. I feel, I honestly feel bad for this guy because, um, you know, he really doesn't have anything for it. But hey, this is the game. So I'm just gonna go with a log here. I'm just gonna go again with a drill because I know he's gonna rock. There's the rocket. Yep. Um, I'm just gonna wait with my poison. I'm actually just gonna tornado. Yo, look at that tornado, bro. I mean, this is what I mean. The tornado is so strong. People aren't expecting it, but yeah. Um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Vizia or whatever your name is, but that's just the way it is. All right. I'm gonna hop into the final match of this video it's actually gonna be a really short video um but this is the sudden death tournament so it is the way it is as i definitely don't recommend this deck just because it's gonna be so hard but i wanted to showcase just you know something different for you guys okay this is gonna be really challenging so if i stop talking for a little bit in this video please understand i'm just locking the fuck in okay this guy's playing balloon actually this is a good matchup for me so Hopefully I don't lose this. I'm just going to go with my Expo, with my Log for the Skarmy. Let's see if he goes with Lumberjack. Yeah, there's a the Lumberjack, there's the Balloon. Okay, that's what I mean. So, um, in this matchup, you just got to worry about his Freeze. Okay, I say that and he freezes my fucking Archers. So I'm just going to go with this <laughs> and go like this. Okay, that's fine. Um, this might be a Fireball match. We'll see though. Okay, he's going to waste his Bowler yet again. So I don't know what he's doing. I mean, I'll definitely take that, though. Uh, I'm going to split my... I'm going to go with my archers like this. Okay. Not bad. I'm going to go like this, and then I'm going to go with the Tesla. Okay. Might need to... Uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to have to fireball this, because he's going to freeze. Yep. Okay, that's fine. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. The reason why Expo is so bad in this... Um... <laughs> in this game mode is because uh, you you have so much elixir, right? So you can just kind of place down anything at all times, but I know he's gonna go bowler here, so I'm just gonna go with my Tesla. 
Hopefully the Evo Archer helps out a little bit. Okay, not the end of the world. I did actually get a little bit of damage. So, looking okay, I guess. I'm just gonna cycle back to my archers. And then I'm just gonna go with another expo. Let's see what he does here. Um, he might have to freeze, honestly. Okay, I'm just gonna go like this. Beautiful. He's gonna go bowler, right? Perfect. Okay, we're looking pretty good right now, not gonna lie. I'm just gonna go with the Tesla. I can honestly start fireball cycling this guy if I want to. Um, but I'm just gonna play it slowly. I'm gonna go with my Ice Spirit, gonna go with a log. That's fine. I'm gonna go with a defensive expo, honestly. Because I just kinda need to play like a lunatic here. I'm just gonna go with my Tesla low, because I know he's gonna go with balloon. If he freezes, I just go with my beautiful, beautiful archers. I'm just gonna fireball. And uh, yeah, this should be the game. He's giving me well played. I can't tell if that's toxic or not. Okay, no, he's gonna be okay. great. I mean, yeah, we did actually get a good matchup there. Um, Balloon actually will be really popular in this just because, you know, Balloon does so much damage. You got the bowler, which is so strong. But yeah, those are going to be the five best decks that I can give you guys off the bat. You've got Expo. You've got got <laughs> you got Drill plus Tornado. You've also got the Drill plus Poison. If you want to add in a little bit of Surprise Factor, you have the... Um, Lava Hound, as well as Giant Graveyard. You're just going to see so much Graveyard. You're going to see so much of the Goblin Jewel with any variation. You can also play with the Valkyrie, but the Royal Ghost is better because, you know, it turns invincible, and then they can't go with their Evil Bomber at the bridge. Uh, Giant Graveyard, you can also play with Splash Yard. Um, it really just up to preference, but I think Giant Graveyard is a little less skilled, so... You know, if you're feeling extra toxic, then definitely go with this one. As for uh, Lava Hound, I mean, Lava Hound is um, honestly pretty strong. I mean, you're not going to be able to use the Evil Zap, so in replace for the Evil Zap, I would, uh, well, I would just go with, I guess, the Evil Bomber because Evil Bomber is Evil Bomber and it's ridiculous. And then finally for Expo. I mean, it's going to be a little bit harder, I'm not going to lie, but, you know, Expo is really, really strong. You don't actually have the Evo Tesla, which is why I was playing with the Evo Archers, but, um, you know, as long as you are just putting enough constant pressure, you should be okay. I've seen people actually get to, like, over 30 wins with Expo, so props to them for doing that, but I really think it's just extra hard. You guys should just be going with Drill or graveyard but that's gonna be a video actually a really short video today because because the the um games were so so quick i mean that's what happens when you're playing the sudden death anyways thank you guys so much for the recent support and i'll see you guys in the next one peace